Green, yellow, red. Red. Okay, well, I got the sound to work, <clears throat> but uh, looks like the connection is now. Oh, it's oh, it's green again. It's green again. What the heck? It's green again. Okay. All right. Well, all I can do at this point is uh, apologize profusely and beg for your forgiveness. Thank you, everybody, for your patience as I work through these technical issues. I bet that this isn't the end of it. I bet you that I'm probably gonna have to deal with this situation again in the future. But for now, I'm live on the internet and I have a solid signal. I mean, it's the best I can do for now. All right, so, uh, I mean, I still don't know what was wrong. Uh, I, I don't understand why the microphone stopped working. Um, all I did is restart my computer and the audio device that I was using to record was still functioning because my, my headphones were plugged into it and I could still hear audio, but for some reason it wasn't picking up my microphone. I got it working again just by unplugging it and plugging it back in. Like, I wish I, I, wish I knew the, what, what it was. I wish I knew what it was, literally for both issues. I turned it off and turned it on again, and it started working. I, I unplugged it and plugged it back in again, and it started working. So, yeah, I'm uh, broadcasting currently over my, my 5G, my phone's 5G. I'm actually amazed that I can broadcast in HD on a 5G network because my, my at-home internet connection that I'm paying out the wazoo for to get business class internet is not working. It's just not working right now, just like it did last week. But at least my cellular data is working, but this is gonna be an extremely expensive broadcast, so there's always that. Yay, fun! Oh well, at least I'm live and I'm here with all of you and we can just be angry and frustrated and tipsy together. Cheers. Uh, look, if you guys sent super chats that I missed, I'm so sorry. Um, I've been kind of dealing with some things here, so uh, just let me know. And I, 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 I know I can't, I can't scroll back because it's a brand new chat. And you know the way YouTube works is you can't splice broadcasts together. Every time you stop going live, it cuts the broadcast and makes it its own video. So I can put them together in a playlist to, to kind of maintain continuity, but that's really the best I can do. So sorry about that, everybody. <clears throat> but I'm back. I'm here, and I'm ready for your questions. Uh, good to see Eric, Kyle, Steve on Facebook. Thanks for coming back. And it's great to see everybody still on YouTube with me right now. Uh, Alt Grendel, uh, Automatic Beats, Nick Barnhouse, Sparrow, Sarah, third time's the charm, she says. I hope so. Same with Nick Barnhouse. Ryan 2, Gamer, Automatic Beats. Canuck with a super chat. Thank you, Canuck. Says, wish I could send something cold and refreshing. I, you know what? Let's all drink something cold and refreshing right now. I had my scotch. Time for some rum and coke. Yeah. Sarah says, what? Uh, WTF? I don't even have access to DSL internet or 5G. Someone send me Elon Musk. I know. Elon Musk, where's Starlink when I need you? Come on, man. I'm shocked that I'm able to maintain a green solid signal on my phone. I just recently upgraded my phone. I've had an old, old phone for like five years now. I refuse to upgrade every time they do a new phone. There's no reason to do that. Every time they release a new iPhone or an Android phone, everybody upgrades. I don't do that. My, my phone is working. I'm going to keep using it. And uh, so I used, I kept using it until it just got so slow. I don't know if, if it's because uh, of planned obsolescence with every OS upgrade that I install or if it's just the hardware slowing down. But it did eventually get really slow. So I finally had to upgrade. But my last phone uh, didn't have 5G. The hardware didn't accept it. So this new phone has 5G. And wow, I'm able to broadcast in HD, 1920 by 1080 on a phone connection. That just blows my mind. 
That is so cool. Uh, Alt Grindel says, all good Oxhorn, hang in there. Thank you for your patience, Alt Grindel. I really appreciate it. And everybody who's sticking with me tonight. Danger Jim with a super chat says, hey, Ox, is this where I donate to the Oxhorn Fiber Internet Access Fund? I mean, maybe. Like, I, I only have a couple of options and I've got the best one. I'm paying for the best internet in my area like i can't they, i don't there's there's no more money i could throw at this problem i've thrown as much money at the internet problem as i possibly can i have the most expensive internet in my region that that, that can feed my house and aside from 5g like which is working charms maybe i should just cancel maybe i should just cancel this corporate internet plan that i have and just dump all my money into 5g or something because look at this i've got a solid green no problems whatsoever my phone is plugged into the USB port of my computer to give me this connection, and it's working great. Man, I should just cancel my internet subscription and work off of this. Edward J says, have you ever tried Wasteland Peated? Also, what do you get if you cross an angry sheep and a moody cow, an animal that's in a bad mood? Thank you, Edward. I've never had uh, Westland Peated, but it uh, sounds delicious. I'll have to go check it out. Rachel says, super chat take two. Oh, and I, Rachel, you're so, you're so sweet. Thank you. She says, fiance asked if you're going to be in the Fallout TV show. Just wanted to get the conspiracy theory going. You did have to take that week off from streaming enough for filming a cameo. I've actually answered this question twice on the air, but because the internet has been crapping out on me, it probably cut it out from the, from the feed. But my, my answer to your question was, um, if I was in the show, I wouldn't be able to tell you. So if at any point I answer this question by saying, you know, I don't think so, or I'm really not allowed to talk about that, or not that I'm aware or anything like that, then the answer is yes, I probably am in. But if I answer by saying, no, I'm definitely not in, then then I'm definitely not in. And the answer is no, I'm, I'm definitely not in. Like they've never reached out to me or talked to me about the Fallout show. I'm, I'm not in the show. Uh, Greg Williams says, hope you have unlimited data for tonight. Yeah, uh, that's, it, this is going to consume all of my upload data for, for the next three or four months. It's probably going to cost me. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm not worried about it. I'm, not worried, I'm just going to do the show. This is my job. I'm enjoying it. I'm going to play the game and have a great time. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, ja uh, Jack Beaver says, Sickle Man. Yes, I did play the Sickle Man in, in, in that uh, podcast. Uh, that was a whole lot of fun. I love playing villains. They're just so much fun. Uh, Gamora Mizuno says, I've seen like three separate uploads, Ox. Ha ha, happy Thursday. Yes, happy Thursday indeed. Today has really been my day. This is my third time uh, My third time trying to get this show working today. Jake Ben says, testing one, two. Testing one, two. With the donation of stars. Thank you both, Jake and Gamora. Testing one, two. I'm still green and live, so I'm thinking we're good to go. Paul Paulington says 100% he is in. I'm not. I'm telling you right now. I'm looking you in the eyes. I am not in the Fallout TV show. Amazon Prime, they have not contacted me. they have I haven't heard a thing about it. I don't know any more about the show than you do. I am not in the show, all right? This is not a conspiracy. It's not a rumor. I am not in. I am not in. Right? I can't say this any other way. Whatever tube says, drink away. I'll miss everybody. We are always here, man. It's okay, Ox. The chat is here for you. The Enclave, which is hiding in space, is here for you too. Play on, sir. Thank you very much. Whatever tube. I sure hope the Enclave is in space. That would be great. <laughs> Jessica McDonald says, fingers crossed, everything turns out good for the rest of the night. Thank you, Jessica. I appreciate it. Greg Williams says, when does that show start? I'm, I'm not even sure. I mean, the last bit of news I heard was uh, their, their casting of a character, um, one of the characters in the show who's a ghoul, and I don't know really anything about the plot or, or when it goes live, but I'm, I'm super stoked for the TV show. I can't wait for it. And I'll definitely cover it on my channel. 
Brandon Beltfed with a super chat says, alcohol and smokes for all. I'm here to offer short-term solutions for complex problems. Cheers, Ox and all. Thank you, Brandon Beltfed. It's true. Alcohol and smokes are solutions to complex problems. Short-term, of course. Gary Lalon says, did we get it fixed? I hope so. I'm, I'm, I'm using my phone's internet signal right now. Cell signal. And so far, it's working. I'm shocked that it's actually working. But it is. So here we are. Alt Brendel says, are you going to reset the chat clock or are you going to game shortly? I mean, I feel bad that, that you know, I, I was gone for what, like 20 minutes? Let me add, let me add about 20 more. Let, let me add about 20 minutes to the Q&A. So let's see. Maybe 15 more minutes. Yeah, at, at around 8.20, my time, we'll transition to the game. That way we can get some more Q&A time in. You can get your super chats in, ask some more questions, tell us some more jokes, and then we'll start the game. Does that sound fair? Uh, Storm Dragon 62 says, Hi, Oxhorn, that donut Joe plush has a big old donut hole, but have you heard of the do, do nut hole that you can drive through? Throw? No joke, look up the donut hole in La Punta, California when you have a chance. <sighs> okay, so there's a donut hole in California that you can drive through. I've driven through the redwood tree that was that had its heart cut out uh, in California. And that was really cool. Sad, but really cool. Um, I haven't heard of the donut hole. The hole in the donut. Well, I mean, donuts have holes, but the hole in the nut. The, do the donut's hole. I would love to drive through a donut's hole. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'll have to do that the next time I'm in California. Whatever tube says, I heard you signed an under. I mean, there's you you guys can't just make up something and then pay me to read it so that it becomes a rumor, right? I mean, I realize that this is essentially what's happening, but what I'm about to read, because whatever tube paid me to read it, what I'm about to read is not happening. It didn't happen. It's not true, okay? He says. <clears throat> I heard you signed a non-disclosure agreement and therefore can't talk about it and must deny everything. Is this true? You're in the show, aren't you? No, I am not in the show. I haven't signed a non-disclosure agreement. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. They haven't reached out to me. I can't say this any other way. I am not in the Fallout TV show. I wish I was. And if I was, I would drop a hint somehow to let you guys know, because I love you guys, and I wouldn't want you guys to be in agony. But I'm not in the show. I'm, I'm not. There's, I'm not involved in any way. They haven't reached out to me. I'm not consulting. I'm not a producer credit or anything. I'm not involved in any way. Okay? Just putting that in there the best way I can. God. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, Kyle Warfield with a donation of stars on Facebook says, if Ox was in the show, he'd put a sign in the background telling us, then he'd pretend it's not there. If I was in the show, I would do something that's, that, that, that gives a nod to my audience that the producers of the show wouldn't understand. Like I'd walk into a scene and go, hmm, this looks like the perfect place for a Mirelurk den or something like that. Or I'd kill something with a plasma rifle and go, tap that ash or something like that right just just to nod if i was on the show but i'm not on the show just making that very clear i am not involved in the show at all Ryder wheeler says got tale of two wastelands finally installed allowing me to play fallout 3 in the new vegas engine i can play everything fallout 3 dlc included that's awesome Ryder wheeler uh, I'm so glad for you. My installation of Fallout 3 crapped out on me finally after the latest Windows update and I can't get it to work. So you got you got that one on me. Hopefully I'll be, I'll be able to get Fallout 3 to work again sometime. Not Nonsense uh, says plasma turns things into goo, Ox. Right. Okay. So laser rifle. Sorry. Sorry. Not a plasma rifle. I mean, tap that goo doesn't really... Jocelyn Riot says it would uh, it would have been great having Ox in the role of historian on the show for the lore. I mean, I, I would totally accept it. Like if they came to me with with a role or something, even if it was just a voice, or or a consultation credit or, or whatever, I would totally do it. But I'm not. I'm not in it. They have not come to me. I'm not involved. 
Jared Shover on uh, Facebook with a donation of stars says, you missed my comment from your last stream, so I'll repeat it in, uh, again. Hey, Ox, I have an idea. Why don't you go to Fallout 76, get the Gatling shotgun called the Pepper Shaker and name it the Pepper Snuff? <laughs> Snuff? Use the Pepper Snuff. Sherlock? I know I should, Jared. That's great. <laughs> Gatling shotgun called Pepper Shaker and rename it Pepper Snuff. I should totally do that. Thank you, Jared. Sarah on uh, on YouTube says, uh, remember when minutes were free after like 9 p.m.? Texts cost 10 cents and chirping? Even more so, corded car phones. Seems like another world. Cheers to aging. Yeah, I, uh, I do remember all of that. In particular, my dad was really um, proud when he installed a phone in his truck. He allowed himself to splurge on a pickup truck, and he bought, he bought this old Chevy Scottsdale, this old used Chevy Scottsdale from like 1979 or something like that. And he, he, he put in a hot rod engine, he painted it black and red, he put leather seats in the back and a canopy, and he got the latest in telecommunication technology, a phone for the truck. And it was in there and it was attached to the wire, and man, we thought we were living high in the Scottsdale Chevrolet pickup truck with the hot rod engine and the phone. It was, it was great. But we, but looking back on it now, I'm like, wow, <laughs> it was, it was a different world, a completely different world. Ket Cowling uh, with a super chat uh, says uh, you are being festive after all Ox saw your scotch glass and I have the same set. The style is called Dublin glass. No joke. Hey, is that what it is? Well, there you go. That was totally intentional for St. Patrick's day. It's Dublin glass. I'm wearing green. These things aren't accidents. Cheers. Braden Pellucci with a super chat says ever thought about doing lore videos or a fallout inspired videos on wasteland one, two, and three great games. Yeah. I saw your previous comment. I, I streamed wasteland three in its entirety on this channel and I loved it. It was such a fun and funny game. Uh, lore videos. I, I don't know if I would do lore, but it, it would be tricky because of the isometric style, especially the squad based mechanics would make, in my opinion, a, a lore video tricky since uh, the, the makeup of a squad. Well, I mean, I did tactics. So I guess that argument doesn't fly. I don't know. Maybe. I'll have to think about it. I'll have to think about it. But right now, I'm really full up, uh, full up with the Fallout content right now. Kibben Desu says, that truck is sick AF. No, it really was. Uh, we called it the Ruck Truck because my dad's nickname in college was Ruck. Um, so everyone, everyone, I don't know why, but we called it the Ruck Truck. So it was, it was a lot of fun and it was on these big old wheels and we would go off-roading and lots of fun memories in the Ruck Truck. Sean Fornango, a silver ox, a member for 40 months with a gold derby, says, if you were in the Fallout TV series, I would believe you would be a great radio station broadcaster. Ah, there are a lot of things I would love to do. I could do radio. I could do voices. I don't know if I could do a good Wasteland Survivor because it is a post-apocalypse and I'm huge. Not a lot of ways a guy gets huge in the post-apocalypse with all the lack of food. So I don't know if I would fit in aesthetically if that makes sense. But maybe I could do a voice. Who knows? Deuteronomist says car phones were a great luxury for at least a decade. Was, was it a decade? Like, I remember in... Well, when I was in high school, it was pagers. We didn't have cell phones. Well, okay. In, like, my senior year of high school, people started to walk around with cell phones. Like, the Nokias and the blue Blueberries. Actually, Blueberries was after. So it was Nokias and flip phones and stuff like that. My senior year, the rich kids in my high school started to show up with phones. But before that, it was all pagers. Like everyone had a pager. And I know that they have 
a, a reputation for drug dealers now and all of that. But when I was in high school, everyone had one. I didn't have one, but everyone I knew in high school had a pager. I'm pretty sure they weren't drug dealers. I mean, now that I think about it, was my entire high school class high? I don't think so, but they all had pagers. I mean, they had people to talk to. The paper, it was a nuisance. The pages were going off in class all the time. My teachers would just get furious whenever a pager would ring. It's a little buzz. Amy Hudson of Silver Rocks and a member for 23 months says, I'd love to see you in the show. A quick cameo. We see a wolf jump you and hear, Dog on wolves! I mean, that'd be great. If I could die to a pack of wolves in the Fallout TV show, I'd be set. That's all I need in life. Just kill me to a pack of wolves in the Fallout show. I'd be pleased as punch. <laughs> Kelly and Gray says, uh, just sauntered on in. Just wanted to tell you, you keep me sane as I plug through my dissertation. Drinking Devil's River whiskey, local to San Antonio. You keep me sane. I heart you. Cheers. Sounds delicious. Devil, uh, Devil's River whiskey. I'm going to have to look it up. Good luck on your dissertation. I never tried to write one, but I had roommates who did, and I know the pain. So good luck to you. Ranker1138 says you are clearly the synth copy of Ox. We can tell because you are a few inches taller and go by uh, Ox. Go by Ox. Internet points to anyone that gets that reference. Ranker, I don't think I even get that reference. I'm a few inches taller and go by Ox. Go by double O Ox. I'm not sure, but thank you. Kemp Navarro Broadcast says, Hi, Ox. Two things. Do you know when and where the Enclave developed Tesla coils for their power armor? Um, I don't. So it's, it's a little muddled. Because Tesla armor was in Fallout 1, if I recall. In the cathedral, I believe it was the cathedral. I believe there was a room on like the second or third floor of the cathedral that had a, a chest with Tesla armor in it. But it wasn't very good. It wasn't nearly as good as the T-51 suit of power armor. And yet we get it at the cathedral, which is like right at the end of the game. So it's really weird placement for that kind of armor. And then it shows up again in Fallout 2 and they changed the sprite. It, it originally looked just looked like metal armor in Fallout 1. But the Tesla armor in Fallout 2 had the sprite changed into an advanced suit of power armor. And it wasn't until Fallout 3 that we got Tesla power armor. It was actually called Tesla power armor. But that was part of the Broken Steel DLC. Like, um, it, we had to go and get a Tesla coil from old only, only, right? It wasn't, I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe it was the uh, the Enclave that had the Tesla armor in Fallout 3. I think we, we got some Tesla armor because we got the Tesla coil from old only. I believe it wasn't until Fallout 4 that we started to get Tesla armor, but even it wasn't X01. The Tesla armor from the Automaton DLC for Fallout 3, it was T65, or, or T60, not T65. It was T60 power armor with Tesla on the shoulder, shoulders. So I, I don't even know if uh, if the, the Enclave was responsible for Tesla coils in the power armor. I know Fallout New Vegas, there was uh, Tesla advanced power armor, I believe. Arcade Ganon's family set was a Tesla set. So, I mean, I, I suppose there's that. But in all of the other ones, it wasn't really associated with the Enclave. Rachel says, if you were to be in the show, what type of character would you want to be? I can see you as a traveling merchant. I could do traveling merchant, yeah. I could do, like, um, like maybe a, 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 a historian in, like, a settlement or something. I could be this old guy that shows up at the campfire and tells tales of the pre-apocalypse. A long time ago, when I was but a boy, we all had pagers. And the pagers were explosive devices given to us by our parents. And if we ever disobeyed our teachers, our parents would push a button and we would explode. And that's why so many people don't have legs today. I mean, this is what I would say like around the campfire in the Fallout universe, and they'd believe me because, you know, post-apocalypse and all of that. 
Lucky Babcack says, Hey, Ox, been watching your Alan Wake series. Love the game. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Lucky Babcack. I'm a bit bummed that I played it before they released the um, remastered version, so I'm not going to be able to enjoy the remastered version. But it, it, the, even the old version played perfectly well on my PC, and it was a wonderful series. Daniel uh, Hell with a, a sticker ta uh, chat, a sticker chap uh, chat. Thank you very much, Daniel. Toxic Sean says, hello, Ox and chat. Happy Friday from me. I still have a bit of work left, but thought I'd show some love. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Thank you, Toxic Sean. I'm doing very well. Always good to see you. Thomas McCormick says, uh, ever watch HBO's The Wire? Starts in the pager era and ends with modern cell phones. Weird to see back how quickly technology advanced. You know, I haven't followed HBO's The Wire. Um, but I have seen... Uh, meme references to it from time to time, though. Michael Yang says, Did you play much Fallout Shelter? I have played a little bit of Fallout Shelter. I usually uh, use it when uh, when I go on long flights. I have it installed on my phone, and I've got a vault that I've been casually working on from time to time. I usually play it when I have a long flight. Julian Z says, all right, Ox, let's try again. So happy to see you on this scotch and smoke rings. Wow, what a crazy night. Amazing how you're streaming on 5G from a phone. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty thrilled by this. I might just have to cancel my internet now. Nonsense uh, says the coil was for the Tesla cannon, Oxhorn. I think the Tesla coil armor was on Enclave, guys, even in the vanilla game. Was it? I mean, there was the Hellfire armor that we got with Broken Steel. Was there Tesla as well? You know, you're starting to ring a bell. Maybe there was. It's been so long. Kyle uh, uh, Warfield on Facebook with a donation of stars says another way Ox would try telling us he's in the show. He'd literally tell us, but his mic would be off and we wouldn't think twice about it. Yeah, you'd have to read my lips. Uh, Daniel Radley says evening Ox. Uh, hope we're all doing well. Just woke up after an extremely late night shift. Lol. Well, Daniel, I'm glad you're feeling good and you made it to the broadcaster just in time for the actual game. All right, it's about time. Oh, I'll get a bit more rum in my system before I play the game. Hopefully, this green light stays green. Ranker1138 says, Your job for Amazon is to ensure there's no jet in pre-war containers. <laughs> also, my joke was a reference to the larger Luke theory in Luke from Star Wars. You know, as, as someone who's not a big Star Wars buff, I think that joke is sadly lost on me. But yeah, I mean, if, if uh, Amazon wants to hire me to do lore checking... And uh, world continuity checking. I'm totally down for that, too. I'll make sure there's no jet in pre-war containers. And there's no doggone stinking communist power armor in the Fallout universe. Oh, God. If they have communist power armor in this show, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I'm just, I will have a literal conniption, guys. It's going to be just the worst thing in the world. I mean, there are obviously worse things in the world. But that would be pretty bad. Communist Chinese power armor in the show? I would be so sad. I would just be so sad. I hope that doesn't happen. Bane and did you says, hey, Discord mod, please unban me. No clue why. Well, thank you for the super chat donation. But you know what? I've got some amazing mods on my Discord. I'm not familiar with your issue, but I know that my my mods on Discord, um, they, they have a hard job and they do a lot of really good work. All right, everybody. Uh, it's time for the game. Let's see if we can get it up. And hopefully I won't lose my connection during like a pivotal point. In the game, like last week, Julian Z with a gold derby, a gold ox, and a member for 48 months says, Oh, ox, it would be so cool if you were in the show, and most of me believe you uh, when you say that you're not, but a tiny part of me sees how hard you're denying it, and well, 
But regardless, can't wait for your show review. Guys, it's it's I have to be very careful, right? I have to be very careful because I it's I'm I'm not going to pretend like I'm one of those YouTubers who says something and it hits the news. I'm not. I'm not that big. But within the Fallout community, I have a little bit of weight. And I want to make it absolutely clear that I'm not part of this in any way. Like, I don't know how else I can say it. I'm not part of it. And so I'm, I'm being very careful to make sure that that is, is told, that I'm just not part of it. If I was part of it, I would say, sorry, I can't comment on that right now. Right? That's what my reaction would be. But I'm, I'm just being honest and I'm outright saying that I'm not part of it. Okay. Kellen Gray says, maybe I'm drunk, maybe I'm mushy, but I love you. Kellen, I love you too. Maybe I'm drunk. I'm not. I haven't even finished my scotch yet, but but I'm definitely mushy. Love you, Kellen Gray. Draco Spider says, I would like to see Ox be one who dies at the start coming out of the vault. I could be the first one to die in the Fallout franchise for Amazon. I would... I would totally do that. I would love to go down in history as the first person to die in the post-apocalypse in the Amazon Fallout series. That'd be great. Or even better, I could be the first I could be the first corpse to be eaten by a ghoul. In the Fallout show? Oh, wouldn't that be great? I'd love that. Or maybe, maybe I could turn into a skeleton from a nuclear detonation. Maybe I'm in the show's intro video where they show a nuke hit, and I could be one of the, the bodies that turns into a skeleton or something. Oh, a thousand ways to die. I love every one of them. Fictionally, of course. Whatever tube says, I'm almost drunk. I, I'm also drunk. Love you. Play on. Good enclave, sir. Thank you. Whatever tube. Play on, my friend. Kyle Warfield on Facebook with a donation of stars says, Episode 1, Dolphin Power Armor. <sighs> so sad, guys. So sad. Julian Z says, Ock, did you ever get the plan for the pepper shaker from the Meat Week? Would love to actually uh, see you rename it, name it Pepper Snuff. Lol, I have one. Uh, uh, may just, may just, may, I may just do it. You should totally do it. I never did get the pepper shaker, the big two-handed super sledge uh, during the meat event. I tried farming it and I never got it. Rachel says, someone make a petition to get Ox a cameo. I just want to be killed in a gross way in this show. That would be great. All right, time for the game. The man from Vault 69 says, Hi, Oxen Chat. Tested positive for FEV. 100% fine playing Death Stranding whilst in isolation. Have you considered playing it, Ox? Well, I'm sorry to hear that you uh, caught COVID-19. I hope you're fully vaxxed so that the ramifications of that are minimal. Uh, and I hope that you feel better soon. As for Death Stranding, I have been, I had it recommended to me. I remember when it came out, it made a lot of news, but I haven't actually considered playing it myself. KT Beaverhausen says, Hey Ox, I think you should re really consider Borderlands. But I would start with the second one. I think the first one starts slow, but that's just me. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, everybody told me that there's this weird pony in Borderlands that does weird butt stuff. Or maybe it farts or something. I don't know. But that kind of turned me off a little bit. But, uh, you know... You, Maybe that's just a joke. I've otherwise heard great things about Borderlands. It's been recommended on the broadcast a number of times, so I should certainly give it some attention. Ryan2Gamer says, Reminds me of the Duke, where you think the Duke went after the events in the last game. Do you think we'll see him again? I really liked that character. What game are we talking about? The Duke? Where do you think the Duke went after the events of the last game? 
the Duke? Which game are we talking about? I'm not sure. Ryder Wheeler says, yeah, Butt Stallion. Yeah, yeah. See, I'd, a game that has a Butt Stallion in it, I don't know, right? I don't know if I could get into that game. Butt Stallion. I'd hate to judge it just on that. I'm sure there's a lot more to the game than just a Butt Stallion, but still. Ah, uh, Jared, with a donation of stars on Facebook, says, Ox, the first post-ghoul in the Fallout TV series. Ox, the post-postman. That would be a lot of fun. Kyle Warfield says, Duke from Resident Evil 8. Oh. Did I play that one? I played Resident Evil 9. I played Resident Evil 2. Did I play Resident Evil 8? Ryan2Gamer says the Duke and the Resident Evil games. I don't know if I ever played that one. Did I play that one? Oh, the most recent one. The Village. Resident Evil Village. Resident Evil 8. The Duke. Oh, right. The big fat guy that comes as a merchant in the game. Yes. Yes, you're right. Okay, what happened to the Duke? Yeah, he was really sort of like an omniscient narrator kind of omnipotent character in the game. And they didn't do a very good job of explaining him, did they? He was just sort of there. I would love to learn more about him. I really don't have any theories about him. He didn't seem like a good guy. He seemed like a really mischievous guy to me. Okay, so where are we left off? Uh, we had just talked to the guy in the church. As we were walking away, it went from daylight to night. We need to get back to the house to light the lantern and place it in the correct window before going to bed. But the path we wanted to take is blocked to us. We can only take one path, and now that it's night, there are a bunch of hay bale monsters in our way. I died last time, and I know you didn't see it, because I had internet problems, but I did. I died last time, and so I'm back at the trailhead. There's the trailhead. We now need to figure out a way. Okay, so I can't go over here. If he sees me, he hurts me. And there's another one on that bluff over there. So I'm gonna skirt around over here. Another thing I tried doing is setting that on fire. Okay, we're gonna set that on fire. 
and then hide. Hiding in the hay. Julian Z says, Ox, I think you have your weapon uh, weapons confused with the tenderizer. The tenderizer is the two-handed melee weapon. There's another weapon, the pepper shaker, which is a Gatling shotgun. You get that from the Meat Week event? I didn't know that. Wow. Well, I can't wait for Meat Week. Sarah says, another shout-out to Ox's cell phone. It's the MVP. Thank you, 5G. Kyle Warfield on uh, Facebook with a donation of stars says the Duke was originally planned to be the fifth Lord of the Village, as confirmed by Capcom. There's clues in the game as well, like the owl crest in his merchant wagon. Oh. I wonder why they decided not to. Okay, did burning that hay work? Well, there was a guy over there on that hill, but he's gone. There was a guy. Oh, he's back. Well, the fire killed the guy that was walking the path. Saw me. Oh, he's coming for me. Oh, he's coming. That kind of... Come get me! I'm gonna burn you! Can he see me through walls? He's still moving. I can see him moving through the cracks. Did he catch on fire? I can see the fire still flickering through the cracks. Did it kill him? Is he standing directly over me? Did I kill him? The hay, the hay is back. I just burned all this hay. How is the hay back? I can set it on fire again. What? Gonna make a run for it. Which, wait, 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 which floor? Which? Bottom. Middle.
against the bottom middle. That's right, right? Or is that this one? Oh, I think it's this. Oh, this I want I went to the wrong floor. This is the top floor. Put the candle on the windowsill. Check. So do I go to sleep now? I kind of don't want to go to sleep with these creepy scarecrow guys just outside my window. Alright. A worgen shell. Grandpa used to put it on his chest before he went to sleep. To fend off evil spirits. Okay. Well, it's on my chest now. <laughs> uh, Julian Z says, Yaox, it was added either one or two meat weeks ago. If you participated in any of the recent meat weeks, you may have had it. Yes, a Gatling shotgun. Yeah, I skip. I skipped the last meat week, so I. Uh, this is the first I've heard of it. I, I hope I can help you find peace, Grandpa. Check. Stay overnight in Grandpa's house. Ooh, it's raining. Right. A dash. Don't stay. Watch out behind you. Find the little girl outside. Where does she go? She goes up towards the well and then stands by it. Well, that was a creepy smile. Can I change the radio? I discovered a new radio station. Why can't I change the radio?
Alright, can I make any more coffee? I've got wine. Can I drink the wine? Any more matches lying around? There were matches here last time. Okay, so we got a creepy girl who wants to meet with us. So what was the significance of placing the candle in the middle bottom window? Did that like ward off evil spirits or something? In the what is that? Do you want to build a snowman? Give him a broom and a frown for some reason. Yeah. Right, let's go upstairs, see if anything has changed upstairs, and then we go meet the girl at the well. Last time I looked in the mirror, things got creepy. She's still by the wall. The wall. She's still by the wall. Whoa! There's the goat. All right, that's it for the house. Let's go. Second day. Oh, what happened to the chapel? Oh, no. Oh, God, what happened to the priest? Vicar? Are you scared, sheepy? You want me to follow you? Alright, let's go find Coming! Coming! You lead! Oh no, the girl's gone! Oh, there she is. Hey, kid. with a walking cane, soldiers shooting at him, a priest with a cross, and then a drunk guy with sheep in a barn? Flashback. Oh, there's Grandpa. Is that Grandpa? Gwendolyn says that goat only wants to lead you to your doom. Maybe. 
Maybe I shouldn't follow the black goat. Maybe that's a bad sign. Is it like black cats? John Merritt says, Hey, Ox, excited to catch you live tonight. I usually miss your stream on Thursday, but I got off work early tonight. Glad you made it, my friend. Oh, I, I'm in control here. Okay, so we got two guys here. Soldiers. We're back during the war. It's Grandpa, as a young man. This must be during the war. That's a happy goat. Looks like he's sleeping it off. This is creepy as hell. A beautiful snow white goat. In bed with this guy. Okay. But what a strange black pattern it has on its head. Is that like a crab? Grandpa! Grandpa, no! Grandpa, where you go? Oh, it's a little girl! Hey, creepy girl! Okay, hi. I gotta follow Grandpa! Bye, creepy girl! Grandpa! Don't leave me! It's me, your grandson! Whom you haven't met yet, because this is the past. Leave me, Grandpa. Where are we going? Follow the lanterns. Oh, are we going to those two black peaks of the mountain? The only places on the mountain where snow won't stick? What's that? Is that a tree? Where are we going, Grandpa? Tell me, you can tell your grandson. What's that? What's another guy? Man, they love their pipes. Smoking a pipe? No, it's a chaplain. What's up there? Skosh pichau, nes corporal Walter Eisturz. As expected, says Grandpa. Our dear Corporal Walter is drunk. HR. Hmm. Any minute now, they'll attack. Have a look over the ridge. It's a whole army getting in position to attack. It's Jeremiah's. It's in the hands of the Lord now. So the vicar at the church was in the war with Grandpa. I ora quintau ha er. Mia doma ai esperanza. Have I told you, HR? My wife is with child again. No quai importo zebo pli. I guess it doesn't matter now. Quai ai la fin. It's over. Oh! Oh! Scary magic dude. Forse non è stato perso mis amis. Everything does not have to be lost, my friends, says the ghostly apparition, with scary pop-up appear music. We can trust him! 
There is always a way, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Grandpa, you didn't make a deal with the devil back when you were in war, did you? Ancient family curse, huh? He literally made a deal with the devil. Okay. <laughs> Well, now to break the devil's curse. Find the little girl outside. Check. Try not to burn wherever I'm at. Oh, what the actual heck. Is that a goat's head? That's a goat's head. It's the goat from the dream. Or at least the head of it. We've got a goat head. With a strange symbol on its head. Uh, okay. Do we, do we talk to the pictures on the wall? Look out the window. Oh, 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 there's a secret door. The painter! It's hailing! I should take shelter underneath the big trees in the graveyard. Uh, okay, uh, race to the graveyard! It's hailing! I mean, we could go back into the church. There is light in the graveyard. It's Jeremiah. He says, Who's there? It's me. I saw you in the war. I had a vision. I saw you in the war. Did Florina show you? She always was a peculiar child. Those were dark times. And dark times are upon us again. Dark times, we can ask? Them steers? Did you see my chapel? Yeah, the one with the goat head in it? We were just there. It has been defiled. I have no idea how he could ever have passed the threshold and entered it. Old man. I saw an old man appear in my vision of the war. Who is he? He has appeared throughout history in times of despair. And it seems he is back amongst us once again. Notice the capital H in he there. I found something. A big goat head. This goat's head was placed on the altar, and I thought it would be a good idea to pick up the bleeding thing and put it in my bag. But later. Allegria's head. 
Allegria? Dear Allegria. Who is Allegria? The cowl preferred the Corporal Walter. Corporal Walter's most prized goat. Christos Buta in Chawa Walter. You must bring the head to Walter. Esa Quita did the plea shell bull. He can tell you more if he so chooses. Walter? Si I Corporal Walter. In Kaistausen Luyara put you that in mind. Who is Corporal Walter? He is a fellow soldier of ours back in the war. He is Corporal Ere Shellere Bopop in Manad of the Vaya. Our Corporal, actually, although he wasn't much of a leader. Florina, I see a Niazza. Florina, the little girl, is his niece. And they want to with Corporal Walter. Where can I find this Corporal Walter? Yo, I will be where the beyond. I haven't seen him for many, many years. Your grandfather used to visit him in his bunker. He brought him supplies. You should do the same if you want to speak with him. He has always been a drunken eccentric, and the war made him worse. Well, we did find that flask of wine in Grandpa's secret cupboard. Nur ein Bunker. Where is this bunker? You have to follow the street up the mountain. It's too far to walk, so I suggest you take Florin's mover. What are the supplies Grandpa brought him? Florina de Ponio Quella Claf, dear mine. Florin gave me this key for safekeeping. Forza Anfla Zapli, and see Lubratori. Maybe you can find out more in his study. Go, Prenella. Here you go, and it's a cross shaped key. That's exactly what we need. Goodbye. Sin se vese, Signor Plevo. Goodbye, Father. The Lord be with you. And it has stopped hailing. All right. Adia, Signor Plevon. Okay, well, we took shelter by the trees. We uncovered the graves in the last episode. Well, let's go back to the house. We could go that way, but a bunch of hay monsters are probably waiting for us. Can we find a way to go up there? And why can't I use my binoculars? There we go. That's what the guy was painting. I bet you will find the key to Florin's mover inside his study. Wow, it's, it's like it didn't burn down, but sort of melted and twisted a bit. We know there was a staircase by the altar. Can we get down there? Wasn't there a staircase right there? Okay, well, the only path we have is back towards the hay monsters. Maybe they don't awaken during the day. The face is gone. 
The pitchfork is gone. I don't see any hay monsters. Okay, that pitchfork is there. Is this fog or smoke? Okay, Grandpa, what secrets do you keep in your... Hey, kid. Could you, like, smile? Or maybe you need to get your eyebrow waxed or something? Because that's intense. Hey. Hi. Can I not speak with you? Hey. Do you like the dark? Oh, that's somehow worse. Much worse. Let's turn that back on. Okay. Right. Well, you just sit right there and I'll um I'll go about my business. <clears throat> Gonna lock me in there? Okay. Just... All right, kid. The kwamalech wepiał drżelec z kobłop. This picture gave me nightmares as a child. Tat prendeva mai mai kunel til za pikultur sidal. Grandpa never took me with him to the beekeepers up near the Alp. Mo lur mel eri meir dil. But their honey is the best I have ever tasted. I like how you can hear the bees. <laughs> I feel something stirring on the summit. Please, Lord, let me be wrong. For Walter. Per Walter. Mel, Florina, Fein, Caurus, Vinars. So his grandfather's name translates to honey? For Walter, honey, hay, schnapps. Spervinars saiolinia im pleit traizokul gummi, boy. Next to schnapps, I can make out an erased word, bathroom. Well, that's what we already got. Vinars, schnapps, the bottle of wine we got. Goat, we have the goat's head. Now we just need hay. Perval, spervinars saiolinia in plight traizokul gummi, boy. Okay, so there's the map. So, Grandpa's house, burned down. No, that's Grandpa's barn. Burned down. That's the first gate we went through. That's the first checkpoint. There's the fountain where we met the girl. That's the room where we got the food and the keys. This is the house where we're at now. That's the garage with the moval. This was the gondola that went up the hill. This is the barn with the hay that we hid in. This is the hay that was stacked to a face. There's the graveyard. There's the church. There's the second bench that we found. And this is the ledge that the painter was at. Also the ledge where the girl sent us the uh, paper airplane. 
And the only way we can get there is either using the gondola here or by taking the moval through this tunnel, which goes up to the beekeeper. In, in this drawing, I saw a group of soldiers, including Grandpa. They guarded the ridge on Moon Down with an enemy army approaching. Then this old man appeared. The little girl sent me this drawing. Something about the shadow of a chapel. Find the ignition key for removal. Find tobacco for the pipe. Investigate Grandpa's study. Hey, is that tobacco? O se le pipa cargada. There, the pipe is full now. Can I smoke the pipe? Find tobacco for the pipe. Optional. All right. Smoking my pipe. God love my pipe. I love the pipe. Okay, so I can't open these cabinets down here. El babo. It doesn't work. I should check the batteries. Oh. Oh, this is... Is this... One, two. This is it. El babo. It doesn't work. I should check the batteries. Oh. Hmm. In a battery, America. One battery is missing. Moveable key! Investigate Grandpa's study. Check. Yay! DS with a super chat on YouTube says, No idea what this game is. I haven't seen you play it, but new job. So here's money! Waiting for God of War and Mass Effect. Stay thick, stat, chuck. Don't be stunk. I mean, I shower every day. I don't think I'm stunk. And I'm working on... Staying thick, but in a swole way, as the kids say. Or at least as I've been told the kids say. Swole being a thing? I don't know. Stat chunk. I have no idea what you mean by that. Stat chunk. Thank you, DS. Congrats on the new job. New job, new cigar. Kid's gone. Where'd you go, kid? Still can't get in there. No pipe? Yes, pipe. Okay, where'd the girl go? Why was she in my house? And how do I get hay? I need to give the guy schnapps and a goat and hay. 
I've got two of those three things. Let's go get the mover. Why are the car's headlights on? Why are they blinking? Is the little girl playing with my car? She is. You want to ride in the movable? Oh, you're joining me. Hold on to your seat. This will get bumpy. Okay, okay. Achievement unlocked, Grandpa Turismo. Grand Turismo, Grandpa Turismo unlocked. All right, so um, I think I turned off um, copyrighted music in the options, which is why we're not hearing anything on the radio. Okay. The loader isn't full yet. I can collect more hay. Can I go? Oh boy. To gather hay, drive over it. Really? Well, this is how I get hay. Oh God. Why do they gotta make cars and games like this? God. Ah! Gonna wreck! No! Oh, no more hay! Mover! Mover! Come on, Mover! Ah. Yay! Gather hay with Mover! Check! Achievement unlocked! Hay fever! Yeah. I have the schnapps and enough hay. I have to get the honey further up the mountain near the Alps. And then it's time to find the bunker and pay Walter a visit. You having fun yet, kid? Oh yeah. Drive up the mountain. 
Find Walter's bunker. AK-47 YOLO Yeet says, first time watching a stream. By the way, I love Fallout content. Thank you so much, AK-47 YOLO Yeet. Glad you enjoy my Fallout stuff. Much more Fallout stuff to come. Ah! I want to pull up the cliff. Oh, Moovel, don't fail me now, Moovel. Oh, that's right. It's blocked. If you get, forget where you parked, use the nearest poster to resummon the Hayloader. Okay, well, don't worry. I'm not going to lose you, kid. I'll be right back. I got to open this door. Hmm. There's a Oshkina sort of microphone. Looks like some sort of microphone. Force is the mechanism for the porta. Maybe it's connected to the opening mechanism for the gate. Right. Do I got a yodel? Yodel, yodel, hoo No. Maybe it responds to the noise of a car. Or maybe I got to honk my horn. Maybe I got to ram it. Ramming speed. Oh, interact with the light button to turn the moveable headlights. I gotta go to the right radio frequency, 1613 kilohertz. Well, this is really frustrating. Uh, let's turn off streamer mode. Yodel, yodel, yodel. Yodel, yodel, yodel. Yodel, yodel. Kilohertz. Ne frequenze de radio. Kilohertz or radio frequency. Discover radio frequency 1613 kilohertz. Oh, does it only work after I read the note? All right, well, let's try this again. AK-47 YOLO Yeet says, You're awesome. Sorry, I couldn't donate $4.99. Don't worry. AK-47, I appreciate all your contributions. Thank you so much. Can you zoom in on the console, says Jackson. I can't. Not without my binoculars, but I can't use them while I'm seated. I don't think.
acquire the frequencies it's in. There we go, this is the frequency from the note. Okay, so I had to read the note first before I could find the frequency. Uh, I had to click on it first. All right, let's go back to game and turn streamer mode on. Here we go, let's get some honey. Gonna go find some bees, kid. Oh. But first, now that I'm through, I wanna walk around here. This is uh, where the painter was and where you threw the paper airplane at me. All right, so here's where the gondola went. Looks like we can now go all the way back down if we don't have a mover. And here's the painting. Oh, we can't, we can't interact with it. He took the painting with him. There's the church. See what's in this house. Moon down. Oh, what's up there? We got a path over there. What's up that path? Oh. Ah! What's attacking me? I found a key. Serpentini. Serpentini. Exposition. Picture moderna. Exposition of new paintings. Casa per la ponte. Domenica sera. House by the bridge. Personal. Closed on Sundays. Invitation only. Do you hear walking? Do you hear steps? Oh, do you hear steps? Dude. Upstairs. What? Oh, is it moving? Oh, the mask is moving. Oh, for crying out loud, the mask is moving. There's a monster upstairs. I could burn it to death. Hello. Oh. Food. Yeah. Maximum health permanently increased. In a photography of the mice got found and someone could test the level. She would. She levar the walls. I need a schizo. All right, let's save the game. Okay, I gotta make sure it's a monster first before I burn it to death. Let's take a quick peek upstairs. Yep. Oh. Die, hey monster! Die to the fire! What, son? You're dead! I burned you! He's screaming? Ah, he's screaming! Die! He's done! Yeah! Oh. 
Oh, it's really hot. Fire hot. Right. All right, let's... Can we just wait for the fire to die down? What's with this mask, man? Oh! <laughs> what the heck is... <coughs> what is with this mask? Oh, I think the fire's done. AK47 YOLO Yeet says, Thanks for your... Uh, thanks, you're awesome, and I love watching your content. Well, I'm so glad that you're here watching a live stream with me today. More Fallout content yet to come, my friend. Okay, let's see what's upstairs. Maybe we'll find a mystery to the mask. Ah. It's a page from an old military rifle manual. <clears throat> rifle handling permanently improved. I'm gonna get a rifle later? In a photography of Elia de Maj, as a silver de Vosa in a schizza. Give me a rifle now, man. I got hay monsters. Can you even shoot a hay monster? All right, kid. Hey, monster's dead. Are you okay? Yeah, kid's okay. What's up there? Okay, so there's the house we're at now. This little trail is not on the map. But it looks like the road winds around and leads back to the bees. So the trail probably goes up to the bees. Well, let's take the move. Ah, let's run up here real quick. Another painter's painting section. Got a key. Yeah. Oh, this is the mountain trail. I see. This is the other side of the mountain trail, and I couldn't get up here. Right. AK-47 YOLO Yeet says, I know I'm getting annoying, but I can't stop donating. <laughs> yeah, you're not getting annoying, man. It's all right. You know, people talk multiple times to broadcast. Just, uh, you know, don't donate if you don't have the money is all I would say. Like, I don't want, I don't want to feel bad later because, because you couldn't stop donating. That's, that's all. So just only donate if you, if you know you, you can Okay, there's the house we just came from. So this isn't even on the map. This doesn't lead to the beekeepers. The beekeepers is up there. Where does this go? Oh! That's the road to the beekeepers. All right, can I get on the roof? Ah! Yeah. Anything on the roof? Nope. All right, all right, let's go move oh. in the mover.
This is a really big tunnel. The map didn't say anything about a tunnel up here. This is the old tunnel, son. I'm pleased that you found it. like my gift. Just if I my. What did you do to me? In great. No mind to Where does this tunnel lead? Guardas Mesa. Take a look for yourself. Greg Williams says 20 bucks says the girl turns evil. Lol, yeah, maybe. Alright, let's. <laughs> I probably should have guessed that would happen. Part of me expected gravity to not work, but no, it worked. Just didn't work for him. And down we fall. Scotch. Oh, Florina is the name of the girl. Her name is Honey? The girl is gone. I hope she's all right. Yeah, where did she go? Well, at least we got our hay. AK-47 YOLO Yeet says, last one, I promise. Also, should I kill the Raiders at Nuka World? I chose to kill the Raiders in Nuka World on my Miniman playthrough, but on my Institute and Brotherhood of Steel playthrough, I chose to work with them. Though it probably wouldn't make sense in the Brotherhood of Steel playthrough because they hate Raiders too. It's up to you. It's up to however you're role-playing. God, this thing sucks. Move all. Move all my butt. Okay. Gondola, bridge, honey. Move or. Do I have a flashlight? Oh, what? Oh, what? God. What? Every time I get to a moval sign, it roars? 
You can summon the halo order by looking at the poster. Whoa! Oh, that's what it does. Okay. So it's not magic, it's a game mechanic. Fine. Ooh, hello, what's this? Hey, creature. Hey, creature. Looks like hey, but it's a creature. Whoa. Matches. Is that a grave marker? Sin via tells apicultures per recalcia in tickets de l'urmel legendar. On my way to the beekeepers to procure some of their famous honey. Perceva la sulette via alla pon tras la casa de quei pictur. Why does the only path to the bridge lead through the painter's house? Ah, oh, so someone found the painter to be creepy. What's that? A Delta F? Looks like it's locked from the other side. Getting closer to the <clears throat> the black, unsnow-capped peak. The Raging Krogan says, Good evening, Ox. What cigar are you smoking tonight? I'm smoking a Macanudo Vintage 2010 in a Churchill. Also, you are looking, as always, dapper. Thank you, the Raging Krogan. Today, I am smoking a La Aurora y Leon, also in a Churchill. Drive up the mountain. Unload hay at a station. Okay. AK-47 YOLO Yeet says, last one promise. And no, I'm getting annoying, but thanks for the advice. You're the best streamer ever. Thank you so much, AK-47. You're not getting, getting annoying at all. I appreciate your contributions. All right, 100 meters. We've got a big left-hand turn. Hello, what's this? Bullets! Oh, wow. Well, they've gave it, given me instructions on how to use a gun. They've given me bullets. I think I'm probably going to get a gun. Can I drop to my death? Probably. Don't want to try it. Dead. I killed you. 
with my moveable. Fuck, oh, a dead horse. It's a dead horse. Two dead horses. Oh. Lock in the road. Serpentini. Exposition de Malets Novs. Serpentini exhibition of new paintings. Silvarte vos ai nom in auto ving per vos. Merai deser semchai. On the back it says a wagon will fetch you. Be ready. Dead horses. Can I jump up here? Well, the road's blocked. There's the bridge. Ah, that sucks up the hay. It's a headless goat! God, run! I can't run! It's a headless goat! Unload hay at the hay station. Check. Why is there a headless goat? Is that bad boy up in there? There he is. Oh, there's another one over there. It's two of them. If they can come get me at these hail tr hay trails. Hey. They catch me. It slows me down. Every time they catch me, it slows me down. <laughs> killed me. I got killed by hay. Ryan Two Gamer says I'm more creeped out about the girl than the monsters. I mean, she's pretty creepy too. <coughs> the Raging Krogan says, "When was the last time you had a Cuban cigar?" Uh, I think the last time I had a Cuban was when I was in Amsterdam many, many years ago. Oh, 
Oh, it put me all the way back here. Sin via te percheva la suletta via alla ponna tras la casa da quel picture. Okay, I got some matches. Oh God. God! God! God, you stinking head monster! Tell you what, before I unload this hay, I'm just gonna go murder a bunch of hay monsters. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's a lot of them. Move them! Boom! Yeah. One more, huh? Boom! <laughs> oh, they got me. Well, that doesn't work very well when there's a bunch of them. The Raging Krogan says, uh, do you remember the Brandon series? I don't. It was so long ago. Uh, Dong Ho Choi says, uh, Muvo versus M35 Mako, which would you choose? <laughs> oh, man, I'm going with the Muvo. I mean, the Mako's fun, don't get me wrong, but that's the Muvo. God love the Muvo. Okay, do this again. Fine. Sin vi parcheva la suletta via alla ponna tras la casa da quel picture. Only I had a gun. Brandon Belfed, a member for 20 months, and a Silver Ox says, enjoying the show. Play on, sir. P.S. What do me and Nails have in common? 
We both get hammered. Cheers, he says. Cheers. Move her. I'm going to kill one with the car, and then the rest I'll do the old-fashioned way. Fire. Fire. Da, da, da. Ah. I'm going to run you over so many times. Hi. Dead. I'm hunting hay monsters. Two more. So if I sneak up behind that one, and if I sneak up around the other one, can I, can I go up here? Yeah. Oh, hello. What's this? Oh yeah. Map. All right, so this is the cabin that we stopped at. We found the matches. That's the tunnel. This is the hay unloader. This is where we are now. Uh, this is the building directly beneath us. There's a bridge over there, and then the tunnel continues off to the left. If only I had a flare gun or something. Man, that would be great. I need a save point, man. If I die to one Leumon of these... I'll go there later. Oh, oh, f f of course. Leumon fine, fine. I find this cool thing and I can't go there because I just intuitively know that I'll go there later. Ah. All right, let's kill some hay monsters. I can't sneak up behind this guy. The Raging Krogan says, just strap a turret to the Moovil and you almost got your Mako. You just need Garrus and Liara to complete the process. Sounds good to me. Can I slide down this? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Burn it? What is that? 
What is this? What, I'm gonna go here later too? What did I just find? Fine. Fine, I'll go there later. Well, he should have burned to death by now. That leaves one. He's still on fire! <laughs> he was screaming and walking towards me, still on fire. God! Oh, that's terrifying! <sighs> What's this? All right, one more to go. Carter. Yeah. Killed you. Ha. Okay. Okay, let's go unload the moveable. So this sucks up a bunch of uh, hay and puts it in here. the key. Let's get the note. Serpentini, si la varte vosa in nom in auto ven per vos, merai d'esser semchai. Scout! Clippity cloppity clippity cloppity! Where are you taking me, headless goat? I've already been up here. Clip clop. Can I give him his head? Where you going? Don't leave. 
Oh, now I can come here. This is what I was waiting for. Well, okay. Can I get into this building? Yes. matches oh save point oh there's the one on the mirror this is some guy with a goat Zauber Meifer Wolvager like a juggler uh Un Holden a goat rider Sterngurker I don't know a poet Alarun I don't know, I can't interact with them. These honey pots are empty. Save. Okay, I saved. What's this way? Ooh, that's a river down there. The bridge is out. can't fit through there. These little rocks that have cubby holes have to have a significance of some sort. It's not the first one we've found. Well, that looks treacherous. Some sort of pulley contraption leading up the hill. And then a road over here. Bridge that way. Church and graveyard this way. This goes all the way back to the church and graveyard. This is that gate. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is that gate we saw on the other side. Oh. Here's where we found the matches and the strange note. Okay. Well, let's summon the moveal. Where is it? Where's my mover? There it is. AK47 YOLO Yeet says, I turned 12 14 minutes ago. Hey, happy 12th birthday, my friend. Congratulations. I have a son who's just a bit younger than you. He's nine. And uh, he's really excited to turn 10 here in a few months. He keeps talking about how it'll be the, the first time in his life that he gets a second digit. He'll be turning double digits soon, and he's thrilled. Why do I feel like I'm going really slow? Can't I go faster? So do I go faster with hay? Does this car run on hay? Hey's back. I need more hay. All right, let's see if there's any more hay over here and let's see what's uh, in this shack over here. I wish it was daytime. It's so dark. Oh, here's more hay. Bridge. These are these weird signs we saw on the other side of this wall. <laughs> what? <laughs> I should investigate the bleeding from my backpack. Is alerta. <laughs> He's so calm. He's like, you're awake. Morning. <laughs> you must be thirsty. He's, he's so calm with this 
This dismembered head just <laughs> bleeding in his backpack. I don't see you but it's Let's get you some water, buddy. Tia is alert, yes. I don't see you but it's Okay. Find water for the goat. <clears throat> Head. <laughs> oh, it's not coming out the other end. Ah, oh, I'm a little disappointed. Pick up the goat. All right. Oh, we found water for the goat. That was a thirsty goat. Uh, AK47 YOLO Yeet says, Thank you for responding to all of my chats. Goodbye, gotta go. Goodbye, AK47. Thank you for coming by and happy birthday. Adrian Parker says, Listening to you while working makes me laugh when you say you want to kill hate monsters. Keep on playing, good sir. Thank you, my friend. All right, let's fill up the pan with water while we're here. <laughs> well, that was great. I'll go there later. Of course I will. Another painting area, but no artist or easel. Some pieces are missing. There is no handle. Quay Malay de Florina. It's a painting of Florina. Such a charming painting. I'd hang that in my house. Chi up and they'll see quick out. Who put this here? Yay! Serpentini, exposition, per casa per la pond, domenica sera. Mo si invita personal. Hey, coffee!
Quel sai jau dobrā pie tā par magazīnā kausas. O! Oh! Oh, dude, what are you doing down there, man? He's just nodding his head. Delirium three of six. All right. In a photograph, as a zebel sheet, Silla Varta was in a schizza. Quayao ya, the pleader of your bow. Quel sai of Rapitar per magazina causes. Jos regordel de quacodis, el tracta la legenda di imprigionier e la montagna. I remember this book. <coughs> it's about the legend of a prisoner in the mountain. Io crei che in Sicilia valla giù scritto quel. I think someone from this valley wrote it. Sometimes it can be worth it to look at items in the inventory from other sides. Il titolo del codice, il prigioniero della montagna. The book is called <coughs> The Mountain Prisoner. L'autore è Hr Serpentini. The author's name is H.R. Serpentini, the guy from the war. El era in del soldai sulla montagna e mia visione del uiara. He was one of the soldiers on the mountaintop in one, my vision of the war. Quartz entre che l'aggio scritto quel roman e ha ersch pareus si di natura da manaevel del pezz mundaun. Shortly after writing this novel, H.R. vanished while hiking near the Moondown Summit. In San Flau il manuscript in sia stanza de lavoro publicau il codice postum. The manuscript was found in his study and the book published posthumously. Ya wai ni gine buis ca sabes cargar con quella. I don't have a rifle to load these. O se le pipa cargada. There, the pipe is full now. Is that a sock? Maximum health permanently increased. Mm. In a photograph, as is it. Si la varta vos a in a schizza. I should look after the goat head first. Well, I gave it a drink of water. It's a painter's studio. He's gone. 
I'll go there later. Still missing a few pieces to that puzzle. Is there a bad guy in here? Huh. Huh. Part of a picture. More bullets. It's a page from an old military rifle manual. <clears throat> rifle handling permanently improved. So I can't get to the bees because the bridge is out, it looks like. Whoa! Oh no! La via è bloccata. The road is blocked. Io sto zinflaina voglia per mettere ot via il glacio. I need to find a way to remove the blockage. Destroy the road blockade. Well, I tried to get to the bridge, but it said I couldn't do that right now. I found the goat, but I couldn't give him back his head. I gave the goat head some water. And now I've got something blocking my way. Can I blast through it with the moveable?
Well, I could uh, continue to get more hay. Okay, I got all that hay. Welp. We made coffee. We fed the goat. Hey, I wonder if the goat's head is back over here. Or, well, we can't go to the gondola either. Can't go to the gondola. Can't go to the bridge. Wait, I wonder. Can't get in there because we're missing pieces. Leumon Yoblitar. Can't go there. Okay. Well, tell you what. Let's save. And I'll have to figure out what to do next time. I am out of time, everybody. Thank you all for uh, coming to this live stream of Mundown of Scotch and Smoke Rings. Uh, this game is really intriguing. I hope you're all enjoying it as much as I'm playing it those hay monsters are a trip man that talking goat head in my bag is <laughs> it's just unexpected but welcome is what i'll call that unexpected but welcome i'm gonna head on out i gotta get some sleep if i'm going to do an early morning live stream of god of war i hope you'll be there to join me i'm making great progress on my lore video for the weekend so i do expect to have the next episode for fallout steel's Fallout 76's Steel Dawn DLC for you for this weekend. Get some sleep, have a good night, and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning with another live stream. Bye-bye now.